Hello and welcome to Sonic Sphere's Custom Library. If you're watching this video, you've already registered and logged in successfully, and you're ready to learn about all the exciting features this custom library has to offer you. Let's start on the music search page. Here, you search and audition thousands of music tracks, create and add them to a project, and then share your results with a friend or colleague. First, select a music length. You can select all, which doesn't filter the results, tag slash mnemonic, 15 second, 30 second, 60 second, or long form. Let's do a search for a 30 second web clip. The next step is to select styles. It can help to select more than one to narrow your results from the thousands of tracks available. Let's search for a track that is organic with a touch of sophistication. Now I'll select search and Sonic Sphere's custom library will present me with the tracks that best fit my search parameters. Scroll down to view the many search results. It is here where we can audition our tracks. Simply click here to play, here to pause, here to stop, use the slider to move about within the track, and you can adjust the volume here if necessary. There are 10 search results per page, and you can click the Next button to see additional pages of results. When I find a track I like, I can add it to a project. I really like this track. To do this, simply click the Add button in the top right-hand corner of that track. You'll be prompted to name your project, and I'm going to name mine New Project Number 1. Now you'll notice the track has been added to your project here on the right-hand side of the screen. Let's find a couple more tracks we like, and then add them to our project. This sounds really nice. Let's add it to our project. Ah, great. Now that we've added some tracks to our project, we can do some pretty nifty things. We can listen to the tracks. We can change the order of the tracks. Make notes about the tracks. And we can even remove a track from the project. When you've completed a music search, click here to save your results. Now you can come back to the custom library at any point and open your project. Now, the coolest feature of Sonic Sphere's custom library is the ability to share this project with a friend or colleague. To do this, simply click the Share This Project with a Friend button, add any email addresses you'd like here, separated by commas. You'll notice the subject line is already filled out for you, and you can add your own custom message here. Now click Send and a link will be sent to your friend or colleague, and they'll be able to listen to the music you've chosen on a custom private web page. To manage your projects, simply head to the project bin. By clicking Info, you can see the tracks you've added to your individual projects, when the project was created and last modified. You can even audition the tracks here. You can rename a project by clicking Edit. You can delete it permanently by clicking Remove, or you can open this project in the Music Search page by clicking Open. Now you can add more tracks or remove tracks from this project. If you want to work on a different project, simply navigate back to the project bin. Here you can open another existing project of yours, or start a brand new project from scratch by clicking Create New Project. Let's check out the Expert Music Search. An expert music search is a great way to let the most experienced custom library users, the actual folks who created this library from the ground up, do a custom music search for you. It's a very quick and cost-effective way to get the absolute best tracks for your project without you having to do any of the searching yourself. Simply contact Sonicsphere and they'll do the work for you. All contact info can be found here. Well, that wraps up our tutorial. Thank you and enjoy the unique tool that is the Sonicsphere Custom Library.